Hey Scorpios, welcome back to DQ Tarot and welcome to your November 2020 reading. Happy birthday to all my Scorpios who have already celebrated and happy birthday to those who are going to be celebrating throughout this month. I love you guys. And let's just get right into your reading here. We have a scrying mirror set up for my fixed water. And we're using the Oosie Pagan Otherworlds deck, a deck that I charged in that Taurus full moon on October 31st, Halloween, solid. Very powerful. And your energy right now is very, very powerful. As soon as I stepped into it, your emotions were so deeply felt in my energy. Um, I think it might be a struggle to continue doing readings the rest of the day after this one. But what else to expect in your season, Fix Water? So, if you guys haven't, do make sure to subscribe. Do make sure to share if you enjoy it. And if you want to book a private reading, as always, all the information is below. So, Scorpio. Anxiety is deeply felt for you guys right now. And I don't know if it's just the day or what but um I mean I'm doing this on November 2nd tomorrow's a pretty big day if you're an American um we have Mercury going direct as well today tomorrow depending on how you look on it and then it will move into your sign later in the month back into your sign but this time direct and as I've said before even when it was retrograde you know, when, when Mercury was retrograde in your sign, it was more like sniper energy, things that you don't see coming or you don't see yourself saying suddenly coming out, maybe starting fights, having intense conversations, bringing things up from the depths, whether we like it or not, and things that we didn't expect. But when it's directing your sign, it's not so much like a hidden sniper as someone coming and shooting you right in, right in the face full on. It's something being presented right up front to you and you're not going to step around that one. No, you can't. It's head on. So we'll see what that one brings up for you guys. Major changes, major transformation, major shifts in how you present yourself, who you are. And maybe for a lot of you, it feels like who you're communicating with, who you're working with, what you're doing with your energy and time. But let's get back to how we're feeling right now. Filled with anxiety, but knowing that there's change. When I was first connecting your energy, the tower just popped out. I like picked up the deck, shuffled it like once, and it just flung itself right out. And that's not something to be ignored. If it comes up again, I won't be surprised. But what you have to know is that the tower is out of your hands. You might feel this internally because of what's happening externally, because of what you're dealing with, um, people in situations that are just asking too much of you that you don't want to even give anymore. Why am I even giving energy to something? Again, it comes up from last month. Giving energy to something, giving love, having faith in something that has completely fallen apart, that has shown its true colors that happened and the rawness of where you're at now is almost too much for a lot of you it's exhausting your <laughs> burdens are weighty but you have to know that good stuff is coming in we go from this to this here six of pentacles reversed to the wheel And you have to remember also, something really important is happening a third time this month. I think it's on the 12th or the 13th. Um, we have that Jupiter-Pluto conjunction. This will be the third time around. And it's going to make changes. It's kind of 
how do I even describe it? It's like when this energy of things just being about to burst, about to implode, explode, and something has to come from it. Something has to be, it's like everything is heightened. Your the feelings about it, what's happening, the money, everything is just very intense, very on edge. And it leaves you feeling like you're just not getting enough while the tensions rise. When is this going to burst? When are things going to change? When are things going to finally start shifting in a direction that's profitable and good for me? When did things start looking up? And what you have to know is that you're actually in the process of it this month here. Things are going to get better for you guys. I do feel the energy lightening up for you. Things move forward and in a better direction. And the Wheel of Fortune shows up. I mean, here we are in a fixed sign season. I always love when the Wheel of Fortune shows up for the fixed signs in their season. Because, um, you know, we have um, all of them present here on the Wheel of Fortune, usually in most tarot decks. It's very empowering. I mean, it's it's one of the moments where, you know, for me, I mean, I feel like Scorpio season. I know a lot of people are January 1st is the beginning of the year. Scorpio season, October 31st, Samhain, that feels to me, Halloween, um, when we really enter that new year, when a new chapter begins, it's the real new year. Things have to start shifting now. They're going to be crazy. Astrology says so. We just have to be along for the ride here. But what we've been impatient for, felt was out of our reach. The happiness, the comfort, the stability. It all starts coming back after this third Conjunction here, this third meetup. Yeah, and there we are again. But it's good. And some of you are, I mean, very, you're a very psychic sign. A lot of people say that, Scorpios, but you do have, I feel like the Scorpios that are more like, ah, I'm not like that. It's like a stupid thing or whatever. Listen to your intuition this month. You felt this coming. We've been talking about this for a few minutes now, right? The crumbling of a building. No, I don't want to just say a building. That sounds so stupid. But again, Mercury always kicks the door on the way out, guys. And it's like the last day of it. So just give me a break for how I speak. Um, what we have built up has not been solid. It was, on, you know, again, a crumbling foundation to begin with. It was bound to it imploded, it was bound to explode, and you felt this coming, that's what I've, that's what I've been saying, it's like, this has been like petering out for so long, to the point where you're not getting anything from it, a relationship, money, um, a job, whatever it might be, a, a, your loyalty to something, and again, this came up last month, and it's already, we've already been in this tower moment, and yet it's coming in again, in a different form, and it might feel like suddenly, this unstable life that we were relying upon that was never what we wanted to begin with, but maybe we had been kidding ourselves or allowing others to kind of direct us towards this and say, yeah, this is what you want. This is good. This is, this is bringing us that stability, that comfort. This is everything. Right. And you were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And internally at some, somewhere it didn't sit right with you. And internally, somewhere you felt something big coming. Maybe you were afraid of it because the world is crazy right now. And it's like, how much worse can it get? I feel something coming. What's going to happen? I'm not feeling good about it. But it is good. And I want to show you why it's good. So Ace of Pentacles comes up right after that. There's an offer of stability. There's a new job offer. There's the, there's the security you've been looking for. A new, secure, stable seed is planted. And not even just plant, like you've been trying to plant this, but it's like this, it comes back and it gives to you this month. It says, here you go. Take it. This might have just gone all the way down, but now you can build a new and better foundation. It's like a beautiful, big, real gift. Something real for a lot of you in terms of money, in terms of comfort. Something physical is going to come this month. For some of you, stability in a relationship that you just haven't been sure about. It feels like renewing vows, deepening the relationship. And for those of you who have been single, it's somebody and something really big coming up here. And maybe we cleared out some stuff there on that Taurus full moon. A relationship sign for something new 
and better and stable and you were like why was i bending over backwards becoming this person you know um being what this person wanted me to be just for them to say no i don't really want that and you were like well i i was this for you you put me up there on the top on that top shelf and i stood there and played the part and now you don't want it okay cool whatever bye but saying goodbye to that cutting that out saying like you know again just turning and waving and saying you know i'm done it's what allows your energy to accept this and to be open for something that is just great work money again stability in relationships in general something real deep concrete amazing does come in and for those of you who have felt very anxious and worried about work and how it's been and maybe it's been again just too much and not enough at the same time knight of pentacles eight of wands comes in to remind you that if things are going to pick up the energy will become clearer freer and if this is new um business or new job opportunity new money whatever this might be an opportunity in those realms it's going places and it's going places very quickly and it's giving you more and more opportunities it's smooth sailing. That's all you really need to know. So. <laughs> Let me get one more here. This is an interesting energy. Will you let the glass be half empty or half full this month? I think it's a lot about perspective. I mean, well, actually, not even a lot. It's all about perspective. And you'll be able to see things clearly again once this all comes to its head and the smoke clears. Your point of view will become clear too. Don't be stubborn. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to say that to probably all the fixed signs this month. And for the rest of the year, don't be stubborn. Fix signs, get fixed. We get stuck in our ways. We think our perspective and our way of seeing things is the only way. Our way of doing things in terms of Taurus is the only way. But if you're open to it this month, the world's going to show you just how successful you can be. And you put... That energy of success into something. The energy of I I don't know why I can't English right now. <laughs> of confidence, Helen. Confidence. Oh, I'm gonna blame Mercury until <laughs> this is done. But anyways, nine of pentacles, seven of cups reverse, six of cups. Again, it's that deepening or that reconnecting of a relationship, the falling in love. This feeling of being held, comforted, loved. Whether that has to do with relationships or work, or maybe both. I think it's both. A lot of the confusion of what to do and what do I do now? Where do I go from here? And what's best for me? And what do I really want to do with my life? It all falls away and you realize confidently that you've weathered through a lot. You have a lot to be proud of. You have a lot to offer. And the Nine of Pentacles is just so much more stable than it feels like where we've been. It's refreshing to just get to a place where we can stand <laughs> and not be running forwards, backwards, or sideways for a second. Again, reconnection in relationships, if you're in one or in a marriage, is high this month. There's a lot of love, a lot of support, a lot of let's take this big leap together. So Scorpios, don't let your anxiety, don't let your fears, your worries over, mm, I don't know, it's going to be the it's going to be a bad change. Start manifesting in the good. You might feel the anxiety, the fear, that impending feeling of something is coming, something is happening. And that's natural. Just don't let it become this. So the nine of swords is always all in your head. Don't chain yourself to your fears, to your worries, and tell yourself that that's really what's happening. 
but it's easy to get caught in those deep waters and drown ourselves. When in reality, there's a lot of groundwork being laid for exactly what we've wanted. Just some stability, just something that we can rely on, something good. And again, money and work, it's all moving quickly. It's all moving smoothly. It's all really happy this month. For those of you in relationships with earth signs and again we have a lot of planets moving direct now in capricorn as well and for those of you with capricorn placements or who are dealing with capricorns or other earth signs and there's just a lot of <laughs> there's just a lot of that good structured stability things that make us feel safe and comfortable coming up this month whether it's people relationships all that it just feels like all of it for you guys things are coming up roses and they're coming up stable roses <laughs> they're coming up real it's no it's not a game of fantasy this month so let's pull a let's pull a Lindsay Andrews oracle deck card actually for you guys this month but overall things are looking great for you just try to just keep doing what you have to do to get through this when it gets in, when your anxiety gets the best of you when the world is taking more from you than other things in your life tune out make sure to do what's best for you and to keep that as your core principle this month because other people will come and go and will prove themselves to be not what you expected and not what you signed up for but you can have faith in yourself. You're going to get a card here. It's like they just don't want to give me one, but here we go, I guess. All right. Silence. Before making a decision of power, move into that place of silence and serenity deep within you. Sit anywhere, close your eyes and follow your breath in and out. On the third inhalation, take the breath down into your belly and locate your place of power just below your navel. Visualize your place of power holding the golden sun, a disc of radiant brilliance within you. Observe the silence like a deer in a meadow. If you are in pain, use your consciousness to find where that pain lives within your body. Then move into that pain and beyond it until you find the sources of silence. In this silence lives your sacred witness, that which sees all and knows all and is all that you are. Power is born within silence. And on that note, I'd recommend that you meditate this month because I think it will really help you meditate, connect to your ancestors, your higher self, whatever it is that, or whoever it is it is that gives you peace, that gives you comfort and silence. And take the time for silence again this month. Turn things off, step away. Because you guys, again, are fixed water. You are very much like an emotional sponge and you are almost like natural empaths and you need to be aware of that and to take care of yourselves, okay? I love you so much. It does look like a good month though. Just keep that in mind. Like things are coming up roses for you guys. You just need to see them in that way. You need to start recognizing where good things are really happening. I love you so much. Do make sure to subscribe, guys, if you want to book a private reading. All that information is below in the description box. If you're looking to get um, your astrology chart analysis, compatibility analysis, numerology analysis, use my code DQ30 for Truly Divine. You can get 30% off, and you can use that many times, um, or as many times as you want, really. So check that out. That's also in the description box below. Have a wonderful and blessed birthday month, guys. We're going to get through this. Namaste.